My daughter Michal is 11 years old and she had a heart failure in Israel. They decided to put her on a Berlin heart. She came to us a few months before the transport with severe dysfunction of both the right heart and the left heart. She then quickly decompensated. We had to connect her to an ECMO machine and then after a couple of days we connected her to a Berlin heart. She was stable and waiting for a heart transplant. Average waiting time in Israel is approximately a year, year and a half. And this machine that she had is a very big machine and she cannot leave the hospital and she has to be always uh, connected to electricity. Also, there is a lot of dangerous thing with this machine which can cause a lot of trouble in Michal's body. So we started to look for places in the world they have a short waiting list and we can bring Michal to. Her parents actually contacted NYP and they accepted her for transplant. When I came to see the patient in Schneider, I got the impression that it's not possible to, to fly a patient like this. It can be very problematic since if there is an electrical failure, then the kid dies. The machine has only 30 minutes of battery and you have to be safe, you can use only 20. And nobody fly with this before across the Atlantic Ocean. When we started to tell this to the doctors, they said that we are out of our mind, there is no way that we can do it. It's something impossible to do. And my husband said he don't care. He tried to look and reach, and then he contact with Isaac. And we saw that children can be flight with a Berlin art. This is something that possible. Yankee calls me one day and says, Fish, we have this priority transport that we have to do. He says there's an 11 year old girl in Eretz Yisrael that needs to come to New York for a heart transplant. Michal was connected to a mechanical heart. CPR is ineffective, medications are ineffective. Michal did not have a functional heart. I knew that we we're gonna need a team that will work closely together without even having to speak to each other. Just by the look of the eye, you'll know what you have to do next. We had to plan from scratch. This has never been done in Israel. I think there were more than 100 people involved in this project. It took us weeks to prepare, and we took, I think, more than 100 or 150 items and medical equipment with us. We were prepared for everything. We had a meeting with Alal Security, TSA, Port Authority Police Department, Customs and Border Patrol, and Alal staff to work out every detail. As a matter of fact, the Chief Avionics Engineer of Alal came along on this transport. We did a two uh, dry runs without the patient, we lifted up the units to the plane, and we made sure the electricity was fine because this device needs a lot of amperage. We realized that the power in the airplane wasn't enough to power the Berlin Heart. Elal engineers started to work on their electricity in the airplane and also they built something to hold the, the Berlin in the airplane. I don't know nothing about the machine, but I know that it takes a lot of current. So we have to check that the transformer gives us currency and there's a big responsibility to do this. Vital One give us all the information about the machine and make sure that it will be a successful fight. On D-Day, we sent two devices to the plane. We connected Michal to a mobile device. We took her to the airplane, connected her to the device that were already there, up and running. Vital One paramedics escorted uh, us during the flight, helped a lot with the logistics. The Vital One team, Fischl and Yankee, put our mind at ease and gave us the impression that they know what they're doing and this is not something new to them as it was like new for all of us and also the medical team that was with us and we felt very secure. When you're facing a beautiful 11-year-old girl that needs a new heart, the most important thing is to stay calm. You absolutely have to be reassuring it was amazing to watch Michal enjoying the in-flight entertainment and then she actually got several hours of sleep as well. Everything was working today like a Swiss clock. Vital One was with us all the time. They are gentle, they are nice and first of all they are professional. When we landed here in New York, all the Vital One team greeted us in the airport. It was a very welcoming sight.
The paramedics were highly skilled, they knew what they were doing, they knew the logistics. Isaac was very skilled in dealing with all the red tape once we landed in uh, New York. Because of Vital One's previously established relationship with Customs and Border Protection, they opened two separate border entry lanes dedicated to our team, the patient, and her family. We are working with Vital One for such a long time that we speak the same language. We know exactly their capabilities. They know exactly ours. It's like working with yourself. I was sure that the correct ambulance will be there. I was sure that electricity will be checked and double checked. I was sure that all equipment will be prepared. I was sure that they arranged for the elevator for the Berlin Heart to be raised into the ambulance. They took us in a specially customized ambulance. They also arranged police escort. This was very, very helpful because it took us maybe 30 minutes instead of like two hours in early morning in mid-Manhattan. After something like 16 or 18 hours leaving Schneider, she was hospitalized in a New York Presbyterian Hospital in a similar bed, connected to a similar device, and this great mission was very, very successful. She was in good hands. When I met Michal actually in, in ICU, I remember that day very, very well. As you know, she's a gorgeous young lady and she was doing great. That was a tricky transport, of course, right? And she arrived here in a very, very, very good shape and very, very good condition. After 18 days, it was on Rosh Hashanah Eve, the doctor told us that they found a heart for Michal, which is also fit to her and to her blood. It was like the happiest day of our life. We were celebrating Rosh Hashanah in the hospital while she was in the surgery room and uh, she's been uh, in the surgery room for 15 hours. It took a lot of time to disconnect her from the Berlin Heart and then to put the heart and to make sure it works. She's getting stronger every day and we're optimistic. She will have a normal life and she will have a, a great life um, very, very, with a very good heart. Throughout this journey, we formed a friendship that will last forever. And watching it grow and get healthier day by day is the greatest feeling. We're still in touch with them. We still feel like, like they're taking care of us. And I'm so glad that we had a chance to do the transportation with Right of One. And I'm so glad that we met the amazing team.